Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Season 2020 update, part of the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion for September 6, 2020, recorded around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's take a look here at what's going on across the tropical Atlantic right now. We have a couple of things to discuss this afternoon. First of all, an area of disturbed weather right now approaching Florida and the Bahamas. This is no concern to develop into a tropical cyclone at this current moment in time. Again, not really expecting any sort of tropical development associated with this. Again, this will generally be moving off towards the west-northwest here over the next few days, bringing heavy rainfall and maybe even some stronger storms and some flooding concerns to portions of South Florida over the next few days. This will eventually try to move off into the Gulf of Mexico, where this will be no significant concern to land at all in the Gulf of Mexico. But this could have a shot maybe to go on to be a tropical cyclone in the Gulf of Mexico. And we'll have to watch that here over the next several days to see how that generally progresses. Elsewhere across the basin right now, we do generally have nothing else in the Caribbean, although there is one area of disturbed weather right now basically approaching uh, Jamaica right now. Again, this could bring some showers and thunderstorms to those areas over the next several days or so. But right now, this is no significant land concern at all. We're not really expecting any significant development over the next few days as this generally heads off towards the west-northwest here. Again, it's going to encounter more unfavorable environment, a more unfavorable environment out here in the Western Caribbean. So not really expecting any significant development right now out of this tropical wave at all. Elsewhere across the basin, we have Invest Area 92L and Invest Area 93L, both looking a lot better organized this afternoon. And we also have an area of disturbed weather right now, uh, just to the east of Bermuda. This is actually, I believe, Bermuda right here. This is to the east-southeast here of Bermuda. And again, this is an area of disturbed weather that will be moving off towards the west here over the next few days. And this could have uh, some land concerns to portions of the Carolinas over the next few days. But other than that, there is no significant land concern at this time from any of these waves except for 93L, which may bring some showers and thunderstorms to portions of West Africa and also to portions of the Cabo Verde Islands over the next couple of days or so. A closer up satellite shot here, kind of looking over both of these storms, you can notice some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity right now associated with Invest Area 92L, but very loosely organized at the moment. Not a lot of deep convection. So would not expect to see a significant organization in this over the next couple of days or at least the next uh, couple of, of really in the next day or so. This could still become a tropical depression by tonight or tomorrow at the very earliest, but we'll have to watch again. You can see another area of dry air entrainment that's kind of working itself in through this area right now that's going to kind of be working in with time. And that's not going to allow for much in the way of deep thunderstorm convection to kind of fire right near the center. So that is going to be something that we're going to have to watch again right now. We're not expecting any significant development, but you can see that there is some showers and thunderstorms kind of developing with our system right now. So this is going to be something that we're going to have to watch pretty carefully as it moves off towards the west or west-northwest. And we'll touch on some of the very uncertain uh, things here with 92L here in a moment. With regards to Invest Area 93L, again, you can see a much better organized system today. Uh, right now, it has a general area of showers and thunderstorms concentrating around a center. We will probably see an established low-level center uh, try to form soon. And that is likely to end up trying to progress off again towards the west here over the next few days and again impact portions over towards the Cabo Verde Islands within the next couple of days or so. We can see here from the tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center at 2 p.m. this afternoon, generally most of the impacts right now, uh, again, is going to remain confined in towards the eastern Atlantic. The Cabo Verde Islands will have to watch this over the next few days. As Invest Area 93L could uh, try to develop and bring some heavier rain and also some gusty winds to those areas over the next couple of days or so. Other than that, generally though, we're not really expecting any significant development out of 93L at least for the next day or so. As this begins to move off, this will try to develop even further. And Invest Area, excuse me, and Invest Area 93L will also have, or 92L will also have a chance to develop over the next couple of days or so as it generally heads off towards the west. And again, this is going to be something we're going to have to watch very closely over the next few days. 
This is our little wave right now that we are talking about. Again, there's Bermuda. Again, right now, no threat to develop, but this does have a chance over very warm waters. And obviously, moving into warmer waters, we'll just have to see how this progresses. And our one little wave down here that doesn't really stand much chance of developing at this moment. So you can see here in the early track guidance, this is the 12Z guidance for Invest Area 92L. Again, ignore these two models. I had some people saying that, you know, these two models were getting up pretty close to obviously Puerto Rico and the Lesser Antilles. Right now, um, these two models are the climatology and persistence models. So these are really nothing for, nothing really other than to compare the, the official National Hurricane Center track forecast to However, there is some models that are trying to take this more on a west-southwest dive and then maybe kind of making it off towards the west a little bit. And this has kind of been noted in some of the other models, which we'll show here in a moment. But you can see for 93L, the general trend is off towards the west-northwest. And again, we don't really have any great models with these. These are basically all of the statistical models. So once we get more forecast models will get uh, you know more of everything to kind of uh, render here but certainly as of right now there's not really any significant land concerns but again this might pose a threat for the Cabo Verde Islands over the next few days or so. Now generally speaking here this is the 850 vorticity map this is the 850 millibar vorticity this is the spin in the atmosphere about 5,000 feet off the ground and these reds and whites here that's your higher cyclonic spin at the 5,000 foot level and you can see here that, again, these reds here, these uh, little bit of red colors, these are bundled in the atmosphere. And this is the associated energy here with Invest Area 92L. Again, pretty round this afternoon. So it does tell me that it is trying to consolidate a little bit more of its energy right now. And that will be heading off towards the west or northwest. We'll talk more about that here in a moment. And this is the associated energy here with Invest Area 93L. Again, not as round as 92L looks right now, but this will be moving in the general direction of the Cabo Verde Islands over the next couple of days or so. And this could bring some impacts in terms of heavy rainfall and flooding across those areas. So it is going to be something that we're going to have to monitor here over the next few days. And that's our area of disturbed weather right now towards the south and east of Bermuda that we'll have to watch. Nothing really out here uh, focusing and bundling in the Western Caribbean. So this is the, the GFS forecast. This is the 850 vorticity map again. The spin in the atmosphere about 5,000 feet off the ground. And again, these darker reds, that, that's your higher cyclonic spin at the 5,000 foot level. And again, you can see here that what we've got going on is right now, there's a pretty big ridge of high pressure that's kind of extending out across most of the general vicinity out and through here. And we do have some areas of spin that's 92L, that's 93L right now. And again, you can see how they kind of develop over the next couple of days, uh, except the GFS does not want to render that happening right now because for some stubborn reasons, so we're going to try to reload. Uh, but you can see here that the GFS forecast, again, generally takes us on a west-northwest heading, at least for a little bit. Then actually tries to interact with some of the energy here associated with 93L, which develops into a powerful hurricane on this model. And then moves out in and across the ridge here. And we can see at the 500 millibar level, this is basically at 18,400 feet in the atmosphere. And again, this is looking at your strength of the ridge at that altitude. And you can see here these darker reds, that is your higher strength of the ridge. And these blues, that's your troughiness kind of going on. We can see how there's a pretty big trough and also a potential vorticity streamer, basically a uh, PV streamer. This is basically going to uh, shear Invest Area 92L, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. Also a pretty large area of um, this kind of just general upper uh, trough across uh, Florida. This will bring some rain showers to those areas. You can see the trough starts to try to build back in, but again, it just can't really do so because we have this kind of other tr uh, this other trough that's kind of building in through here, lifting out. We have, you know, just general areas of basically nothing allowing that. The European model, though, is rather interesting. You can see here on the Euro, it develops multiple tropical cyclones, but moves uh, Invest Area 92L further off towards the west here before finally kind of turning it on out to sea. And that is in response because of this ridge trying to build back in, but eventually 
this big trough over here associated with a, a kind of a cutoff flow over here and a ridge out here. Now that's going to force any storm and kind of turn it well out to sea and that should be no concern. But again, that track is not all set in stone. This is the HWARF model here for Invest Area 92L. Again, you can notice how 92 starts to kind of move west-northwest and then it dips down and it keeps it very weak. And one of the reasons why it keeps it pretty weak here on the GFS forecast is what's known as a potential vorticity streamer, a PV streamer. And we can kind of go here and you can see this PV streamer that's kind of digging down across here. This is a very big potential vorticity streamer. And again, this is extending all the way from near the Canary Islands, all the way down through the Azores and in through the Southwest Atlantic Basin at this moment. That would basically help to shear Invest Area 92L. Well, this would subsequently put Invest Area 93O within a much a bigger area for the outflow to expand in all directions. And thus, 90, 93L becomes a hurricane on the model. Eventually, 92L and 93L kind of interact, and these both end up pulling the storms further off towards the north. With, you can see this big trough in through here that's kind of digging down. And again, this is basically pulling our storms further up towards the north, but there is some shear kind of awaiting off towards the north. So that is one of the reasons for that. And even the HMON for Invest Area 92L pretty much kind of says much of the same thing. 997 millibars here at hour 126 and only at about 21 north and about 52, about 51 west or so. 51 west is roughly this line in through here. That's 51 west through there. And that is 52 west in through about here. So that's 52 west. So again, this would kind of be in behind here. The H wharf is a little bit uh, to the west of that. This is nearing about 60 west, which is right here. And if we actually look here on the uh, storm, the actual satellite, this is actually towards the north and east of the Lesser Antilles at this time. But again, right now, I really want to stress that the TCPL and the uh, CLP5, this is the climatology and persistence models and the statistical models, which are not that useful for determining an actual track. Again, not useful for determining a track. So do not look at these. Really, I want you to turn your attention towards the um, AV, the AEIN, and the AVNI models, and then also the TVCE and the TVCA. This is basically the multi-model consensus guidance over the next couple of days. So I kind of want to point that out. Now, one thing is that these now one thing that these storms do have to kind of work with over the next few days is very warm water. We can see here on the CDAS methodology from tropicaltippets.com that this is the Cabo Verde Islands right here. Obviously, 92L will be moving off in this general area over the next few days. Very warm water temperatures await, but a very strong shearing environment right now. You can kind of see that. This potential vorticity streamer kind of in through here, and you also have a lot of shear towards the north right now. And also from our wave out here, no, no real chance for development. You can see that unfavorable conditions kind of persist across that area currently. So... Not really expecting any significant organization over the next few days, but again, this is something that we're going to have to watch pretty carefully. Again, I will always be on top of kind of what's going on, but nothing right now, at least in the models that are suggesting any significant land concern at this very moment in time. All right. With that being said, I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon. I will be back here later this evening, but I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon. Of course, I am Michael Romali. I'll talk to you again, guys again later this evening. Have a great rest of your afternoon. I'll talk to you guys later.